So for today's video, we picked up a Palm 5 connected organizer from Goodwill, sealed, and uh, I'm going to unbox it, take a look at it, see what it does, if it still works, and if there's any practical applications for using something like this today. So let's get started. <music> All right, so what do we have here? This is a Palm 5 uh, PDA. Um, as the name suggests, it is the fifth generation of the um, Palm series PDAs. Uh, this particular model was released in February of 1999. Uh, had a retail price of $449 US. Uh, the operating system was Palm OS 3.1. And the processor is a uh, Motorola Dragon Ball EZ. Yeah, that's correct. Dragon Ball EZ. Uh, model number on it is MC66EZ328. Runs at 16 megahertz. And this has 2 megabytes of RAM storage. The display is a uh, 3.2 inch, 160 by 160 pixel backlit LCD touchscreen. Of course, it's in grayscale. This is 1999. They didn't have color. Well, they probably did, but just not in this uh, price range. Uh, it does have a built-in lithium-ion rechargeable battery, which separated it from a lot of the other uh, PDAs of this particular time period. Um, if you're looking for more information on Palm or on this particular model, um, I'll put some pictures up of the specs from the side of the box here, uh, right here. And I'll also put some links down in the description to some interesting websites that have a lot of good information about uh, uh, Palm computing and uh, this particular model in general. And so why don't we tear into it and see what we get in the box. All right, well, let's start off right away here with this free gift tag. Let's tear this off and see what we got here. I suspect it's probably a redeem by a certain date. Yep. Mail in this form to receive your personalized leather cover. Must be postmarked. Okay, you see that? Must be postmarked by February 7th, 2000. You can apparently either send it in the U.S. or in Canada. And you have to purchase the Palm between October 28th, 1999 and January 7th, 2000. So uh, apparently this was a promotion that happened obviously well after the, well, after the release date anyway. Oh, and as you can see up here, I picked this up for $3.99 at Goodwill sealed, so. I figured that was a decent deal for it, if to do nothing else other than unbox it. There's like a bug on it now. Uh, in the back side, mail in only, no fax or phone orders accepted. Does not apply to any other 3Com products. Must be postmarked by February 7th. 
received by February 17th, blah, 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 typical mail-in redemption stuff. So why don't we get a little cutting tool here and break the seal. All this plastic off. There's one of those security tags. So when we open up the box. Getting started, read this first, it's sealed up. Let's just take everything out first. We can open the individual stuff. Read this first. Uh, graffiti software. Hmm. More books, Palm 5 accessory catalog. And then handbook for the Palm 5 organizer. There's like multiple books in there. This apparently is the dock and cradle with a, looks like a connection serial port. And a sync button, I suppose that's what that is. And not a very good job of closing this, but power brick. This is an adapter, DB9 to DB25, is that what they, those are? Yeah. So adapter. And the actual palm unit. And cover. Huh. Well, that's interesting. That's like, kind of like a fake leather itself. And then your typical molded paper there. If you want to know the mold number, somewhere there is a mold, if it hasn't been recycled yet, where you can punch these out. And that is the box. Just for reference, this is the back of the box. It's got a picture of the palm and a little blurb about it and then there's specs on the side and more product information has all the different organizer software in that so get rid of the box let's open up the actual unit here i think i'm okay to show the model and serial number i don't think anybody's going to try to steal anything from me at this point. And this is the unit. It's got a little plastic cover on it. And then there's a stylus up here that I can't seem to pull out. I guess maybe I should read the book first so but that's the unit there and then there's a docking station and let's open up this catalog and see what we get here there's a couple of different books in there we have the accessory catalog Look, no hands, detachable strap. This little leather. Let's 
Same day shipping. There's your order form. Just in case you were wondering the different things you can get with this. Ooh, there's a pen. Well, that's the accessory catalog. Affinity Publishing Software and Resource Guide for the Palm Computing Platform. More accessories, software. Boy, that'd be interesting. Photos on your handheld. Yeah, I bet you fit a whole lot of photos on there with that two megabytes of RAM. So anyway, that's the software and resource guide. And then here's the handbook. This goes over everything. Quite long. Two hundred and twenty pages. And of course we have our getting started. Let's open this up. Before you use your new Palm 5 organizer, you need to connect the cables and charge it for four hours. After that, it only takes a few minutes a day to recharge it during regular use. Well, maybe I will come back. Well, that's not the... I thought that was the... Stylus, that's the power button. That was apparently is over here. I still can't get it out. Anyhow. I suppose I will go ahead and charge this up for four hours and see if we can get it to start up. Comes with the Palm Desktop Organizer software on CD-ROM. Registration card. Customer support information. Graffiti stickers. And graffiti reference chart. I must have something to do with the way you're supposed to write on the thing. Well, let's get it plugged in and charged up, and we'll see if it actually works. Well, after I plugged it in, hmm. after I plugged it in, it says, Welcome. The following screens will walk you through the setup, which takes just a few minutes. Remove the stylus as shown. So, on this side. Just for reference, the stylus is heavy. It's like not it's not plastic. It's it's like rubber metal or something. It's quite heavy. In the following screen, you will be asked to tap the center of the target as shown below. This ensures accurate stylus entry. Top center of target. Top center of target. Top center of target. This is asking to do the date and time settings. Just click on next. Set up complete. So learn about entering text on your handheld now. Tap next to exit. Tap done. 
using graffiti writing, using an on-screen keyboard, using your computer keyboard. I'll click done. It's got a to-do list, and the first thing that comes up, don't forget to register. You can add a new one, type in what you want there. That's the sync button that I just hit, so I'll cancel that. So apparently this has an address book. A calculator. It has a date book. You can do expense reports. This is the graffiti thing. This is where you can write basically as a handwriting recognition tool. Hot sync. Apparently to sync to your computer or you can sync over a phone line. There's an option to set up a email. There's a memo pad. You got your preferences here. Security. You can assign a password and Lock your device in that. And then the to-do list. And welcome screen. And this walks you through the setup again. That's to calibrate, apparently. I don't know what happened there, but this takes you back to the calculator. It's kind of hard to see that here because of the plastic on it. But it basically looks like a calculator. It's a find option and looks like that brings up the drop down menu at the top for edit and options. I'm sure it probably does more things on other screens. Go into like expense, click that. You can delete item, purge, edit options, and that. So, being released in 1999, this probably was quite handy. I mean, size wise, it's very lightweight slim it's not very big it fits comfortably in the palm of your hand and i mean it's like just for comparison's sake i mean i don't know it's hard to kind of judge it in that but very slim um this came out in february of 1999 um, I have here a Philips Nino with the add-on modem. These were released, this was a, first models of these I think were released in 1998. So this would have been comparable to time period. But as you can see, I mean, size-wise, I mean, it's night and day. I mean, the screen size is pretty much the same exact size. But 
there's just so much more. This one too, again, it has that built-in lithium ion battery. This one has the port for AA batteries. And this one, I believe you can put an add-on memory card into it though. And of course it runs on Windows CE. I mean, huge difference. So for the time, this was definitely a uh, vast improvement over the, uh, at least size-wise and design-wise, over... The other competitors of the day. A little interesting tidbit. Um, I pulled this stylus off and I said there was a lot of weight to it in that, which there is, but I couldn't get this one, this side out. I thought this might have been the stylus too. Well, there actually is a stylus on this side too, and it's much lighter. So It's a heavy one and a light one, so I'm not sure if there's a purpose for that or, but I know the one thing that you can do then after you get the one out is you can slide this in there and then you have a cover for it. So just thought that was interesting. I guess the cover can go on the other side too. I guess if you're Right-handed or left-handed. Open it this way or open it the other way. So, is this going to be of any use to anybody today? No, clearly not. I mean, anybody who's got their average uh, smartphone... 10 times as powerful, does twice as many things, has a camera on it, does everything that this does and more. Uh, but still, it's a neat little time capsule of when technology was a little bit more uh, primitive. And uh, for the time, I mean, it was a good piece of technology. I mean, you have to remember that you know, this is when, you know, phones were big and clunky still, and these probably came in very handy at the time, but in today's world, really no use for it other than just a historical, a historical curiosity. So, that'll do it for this one. Um, if you have any questions or comments or that, feel free to post in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.